So, Baruch Hashem, that we know that we're not alone on this planet. And on Milvado, there is no one except for Him, the Creator, that is covering Himself in so many, so many coverings of honor and respect, showing and reflecting his greatness in different shades, colors, aspects, and forms. And all the time, from every angle, reveals his greatness and his unconditional love to all of us, to every individual and individual. Sometimes his teachings and signs and wisdom is wrapped with grace and kindness enormous love and affection and good but sometimes the light is being dressed in judgments in challenges in difficulties the most important thing is to remember that Adonai Elohenu Adonai Echad that the God that we know that his name represents only kindness, he is also the one who runs the world with the set of rules and judgments of heaven's court. And he is all one. Adonai is the name that represents kindness. Elohenu are the powers that are being controlled by God, is all the systems and all the judgments and all the rules and all the strict codes that the world is standing up on, based on, and working by and with and through. And Adonai Echad, our God, is one. For us not to fall into that system, to think that the world is, God forbid, divided to different sections or sets of rules. It's all under His wonderful umbrella of goodness and kindness. The name Adonai is the name that represents its completion, the Creator's unconditional love. And we must unite ourselves in that deep understanding. And this is why we're saying twice a day, Shema Israel, listen Israel, Shema Israel, Shema, Kabel, Vehaven, listen, accept and understand. Israel, you're calling your siblings to hear it. You're calling yourself and reminding yourself that you're also an Israeli soul. Shema Israel, you're calling yourself, your true self, that you are also one of the children of Israel, that you are one of those blessed ones that are allowed to hear the voice and to announce the voice, that you are one of those pillars of light, one of the lighthouses that is spreading his faith in the world. When the children of Jacob sat around him on his deathbed, his bed was complete. And his children, the head of the holy tribes, they pass that message to their children, and we are they. We are those tribes. We are those families that together we are composing and building the holy structure of the nation of Israel, and we are spreading the light among 70 nations for everyone to know that Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, that nothing happens in this world accidentally. Everything is supervised and synchronized by the great creator of the universe, the one that said and made the world to be as it is right now. Havaya Baruch the creator himself, the source of love, he is the one that unites us. He is the one that gives us strength, power, life, 
holy desires and great passions to do good, to expand the light out to the world. And we have the free choice. We are able to choose to connect ourselves to Him from the lowest place of them all. We have that power because we have an inner, eternal, flaming, firing soul, a portion of godliness from above, Chelek Eloka Mimal, lives inside of us. And He sent us to this domestic world, to this dark place, to reveal His greatness, His godliness, His spiritual power. And we are here to express that light that is treasured inside each and every one of us by expressing our honest feelings, our simple thoughts, our talents, our wisdom, sharing from our life experience the wisdom that we purchased and earned, some of us through blood, some of us through tears, some of us through sweat, pain and labor, and some of us through all those challenges and more. People that I know have been murdered and killed For the fact that they are holding a holy, beautiful, precious soul within, been destroyed for their goodness, been cursed for their beauty, been humiliated for their glory and for their simplicity been betrayed by their best friends, by their teachers, by their mentors, even by their families and loved ones. We must understand that this world can be so dark, but it does not mean that under those coverings of darkness and filth and impurity, No matter how dark it is, we should never forget that the light of the soul and the greater light of the soul of the universe, the light of the Creator, lives within and will never be erased and can never be denied. The light of the Creator is dressing itself in all forms of life and breaking through all the curtains of darkness to spread the light of truth out to the world for it to be seen and be revealed completely. So never back off and never give up on the voice of truth that your soul desire for you to express and sound. You must let it out. You must unlock your true potential and force the inner light of your soul shine. You must be truthful and not to be scared of no man, not to be scared of no consequences and outcomes of good deeds and actions. You should be scared to sin You should have fear from heaven never to lie to yourselves and never to betray your own faith. But never to doubt the fact that the Creator, the Father, is with us 24 hours a day, seven days a week. He's with you and He will never back out on you. He's with us forever and will 
and is revealing his unconditional love to all of us, to all his children. And the light will just grow and keep on rolling and revealing itself, itself step by step level by level till it will be completely out there famous and known and recognized by all the creations of the universe that everyone will know him and will call him in his name in that house of prayer that will be called the house of prayer to all nations and everyone will be united over there and will bless him with love. Amen.